I'm Mike. This is Jake, he's my son. Together we run Castle Arts and Market every month in Newcastle and Delay. I first started getting into markets because my dad became a trader selling puddings on various different local markets. And I started doing markets with other family members helping him out running the stalls. And then eventually we just started running our own markets. I'd been trading for a couple of years with my own business, Punks Puds. The local council approached me whether we'd like to try to do an art on market, small or as big as we wanted. We decided to go big or go home on the first one and filled up the market. And we've grown almost double in size in the last two years. Hi, I'm uh, John uh, from John Green Art. Uh, I've been doing a castle market here for about, oh gosh, a year and a half. Uh, it's a great market, they're really enthusiastic about what they do. The traders are brilliant and it's great to see Newcastle doing things to make the place vibrant and lively again. I'd say it's definitely made a difference to the town. It gets people out and about, there's some really nice food, the music's always lovely, it's a great day. It's very family friendly, definitely. Um, a lot of people here with the dogs as well, dogs everywhere, which is really nice to see in the town. Yeah, the feeling of uh, Castle Artisan um, in general, is a, is a nice family day out. It's nice to see people being happy, wandering around, enjoying the stalls, and hopefully taking a coffee with them on their way. What we're trying to do with our markets is offer unique products that you can't really buy online easily, that are locally made, locally produced, locally sourced. Hi, I'm Ivan and this is Callie. We've, we're doing our own oat cakes here at Newcastle Market this morning. My wife loves the jewellery stores and I quite like it when you've got the beer stalls on as well. My favourite things about the market today are just being the difference in the stalls, even, you know, the, the food stalls selling different things, the different jewellery stalls, there's just been so much difference and, and all the traders are really friendly and it's just a good atmosphere, it's lovely. So we have, we have traders of all ages, early 20s, all the way up to old people like me. And it's really important that we do support these young traders so they can have a thriving business in the future. I'm Megan and I have the business of Cozy Witch and I do a home fragrance made of magic, so luxury candles and wax melts. It's been brilliant. I cannot fault the support that we've had here in Newcastle. In your local market is a living tradition. It's almost like folk music or something where it's something that's been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years, still going on, but we've got to move with the times a little bit and, and naturally keep that interest in what's happening in the market as well. To continue the tradition of the markets, it really is important that you come down and, and support the markets because we are, we are an independent business and uh, a lot of local independent businesses on the market as well. If you want to see them continue, it really is important that you come down and, and help and support the market. Um, in future, I would like to see the market extended further around the town because I think the market in general makes the town feel like a nicer place. I think I'd just like to see a bigger range of stores. I'd like to see more young people getting involved um, and showing their talents and just more people knowing about it and coming along. Castle Artisan Market is super cool, guys. Get yourself down here to see it. You won't be sorry. Even the dogs want you here. <laughs> Bring your dogs to.